This is Randy Townsend coming to you live with Susan Faulkner, Evans, and Darian. We're working on the canters he needs for first and second level. And what Susan's adding today is making sure that he stands off to the rain. This is new to Darian at the camp, uh, uh, excuse me, bow. We're asking him to step into the rain from her legs. So this might be the sixth time at the canter he's done this. And personally, he doesn't understand it because he's been able to go on a light rain before. Now he has to stay on contact for second level. Okay, now you can feel, you've got a good feel of his rain, right? His back end is labored. So now we're gonna do the same thing we did at the trot. We're gonna start doing other things in the canter to see if we can get him more comfortable and more active behind, more active. Slow down the front end and get him more active. Teach him to step into that live rain. More activity. A lot more. A lot more. You can feel he's kind of lugging around, right? I know, but what does that mean, slow down the front end, but a lot more? Oh, I mean, slow down the front end, good question, and get the back end a lot more active. So you're gonna ask with your front end for him to lift up his shoulder, and then with your legs, you're gonna get his back legs to come right up. His left hind leg should come up between his front legs. That's right, more. There, feel the bounce starting? Now you're gonna feel it first in the back end. That's it, keep that bounce from behind. Okay, now what he does is he starts bouncing from behind, and then you feel he escapes in the front. So then you're going to do half halt, bump with your inside leg, inside leg, inside leg, half halt, send him forward, half halt, get him more active, half halt with your outside rein and leg, send him forward, half halt with your outside rein and leg, send him forward. That's right, slow down your outside rein even more, there, right there, until he gets loose. See the steps of connection, will he soften on the jaw on the outside? Then to the pole, look between his ears, and at the same time, you're gonna add the eight leg now. That's right, with more activity, because you've been using the leg before. We're just asking him to step up more from behind as you do this. So get him to step up more, get him to step up into your right rein. Do a collected canter. Slower, more activity, that's all right. Yep, see how high you can get his shoulder. Think Western pleasure speed. Good, feel his back changing. Now you'll notice he slowed down and picked you up. That's it, good, good. That's it, now you're gonna lengthen keeping him in the same balance. And he'll lose it right away because what he'll do is he'll lock up his jaw, his pole, and his neck, and then he'll stop using his back end. Do you feel it? And it's only because he doesn't know how to keep it connected yet. Okay, go back to your very collected canter, almost a canter in place, and see how active you can get him to sit down. Sit him down. Yeah, play with him, that's it. Just play with it, play with it. Sit, sit, sit more, sit more. That's all right, send him forward when he gets stuck. Good, praise him. Okay, we're gonna play with the rubber band exercise. Have him sit down again. That's all right, he's gonna break a lot. So it's, this is where he's gonna to learn to balance between your rein and leg. Good, good, then send him forward. Again, he's not being bad. That was actually pretty nice, Susan. Now you'll notice he likes to lock up on, your, on his jaw, right? Again, he's not being bad. He's not used to you creating a frame with your hands. So he feels when you feel both sides of his mouth that he should slow down or stop. And now you're just gonna say, no, this is really me asking you to take up a more active connection from your hind legs. Good, Susan, just play with it. Lots of transitions, looking through his ears. That's right, keep doing, slow down the steps of the canter until he steps into a trot. That's it, you feel where he pokes his nose out? So that's where he's locking up his jaw, his pole, and his neck. That's it, feel when he takes off? So now you've gotta supple him before he takes off and before he comes down. Take your time. Yeah, he's gonna do all kinds of things. Just get his back feet moving if he will. And he's saying, you're crazy mom. I don't wanna step up into an active rain. Let me go back to being a training level horse. Good, get him to step up into the rain. Good, Susan, that's what he needs. That's right, and that's just him trying to figure it out. Yep, yep. supple him, supple him, supple him more. Very good, supple him, supple, supple more. So he gets that big arch in his neck, supple him, good. 
bigger arch in his neck, supple him. We're not really looking for the arch. The arch comes from her softening the jaw, softening the pole and him picking up his back. That's right. Good, good. Keep looking for the, you know if he's got the rainbow in his neck and that big arch, he's got his back up. So take your time. This is different for him. Yep, rocking horse. See if you can get that arch bigger. That's it, that's it. Get the arch bigger, rock him back more. Set him back on his haunches, good. Send him forward. Good, set him back on his haunches. Praise him, send him forward. Yes, you can feel where he locks up in his jaw and his paw. That's where he should be. Soften him, set him down, keep his jaw loose. That's it, good, then send him forward. Collect the canter like you did where he sits down, but really super supple him. Supple, 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 slower. Yep, supple, 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 twice as much. Good, now you're feeling where he locks up. You can add the counter canter and do it with the counter canter too if you want. That's right, keep checking. Is he really loosening his jaw, his pole on his neck? Feel that every step because that's going to tell you if he's active and coming up from behind your leg. Good, supple him more. Because you can feel he starts pushing against you with the rain, right? Yeah. That's where you just say, okay, I understand why you're leaning against me, but let's, let's play together. Yep, hold your hands and just get them soft as you can. Good, Susan, softer. Supple more. Supple twice as much. That's all right, good, good. That time he suppled and he came, he was still underneath of you. Did you feel it? Yeah. Do a counter supple. Like look between his ears to the right and see if he can do it that way. Supple, 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 good. Now supple him the correct way on the counter canter. Look between his ears, supple, supple, supple. There, he's coming under your seat different, do you feel it? Now do a counter supple, so now whatever lead you're on, you're gonna either supple him to the right or to the left, looking between his ears and just play with the differences because it's putting him under your seat different. Good, supple more. Suppling is just loosening the jaw, the pole, and the neck, so he lifts up his back. Good, good, supple him more. Yep, you're gonna put him over two steps to one rein, two steps to the other rein now. Yep, supple him. Or do four strides, it might be easier. Supple, 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 supple. That's right, supple him on the other rein. Bigger trot, right away. More activity. Right there, that's the activity you should go into right away. Good, good. All right, take a walk, Ray.